maximum is that the people are not present in the office and the administrator will also be subject to the training person and how they are training to their employees and laborers and they will get into the market and what are the strategies they are using in their field. From the sitting for a service in the school of sitting management. So I would like to ask some questions and take them there. Well, my name is Rajiv Babu. I have been in the field of shipping. I was practicing shipping for about 40 20 years. I worked in various corporate uh, sectors and I have uh, been running my own business for about 18 years. After which I have entered into the field of shipping. I wanted to be a teacher rather because uh, I feel that you know it gives me a lot of pleasure to teach. And uh, with regard to the school and training, what you're talking about, I feel uh, periodical training or periodical upgradation to the employees are very, very important in order to get the best productivity. I would like to cite a small example here. There is a company called Eddie Stobart in England where I had an opportunity to go into the company and interact with the CEO of the company. They just started with uh, a mere two lorries before our uh, before our two decades. Now they've got around 2,700 lorries and 2,800 trailers, and at any point of time they're using close to 34,000 tires at a point of time, at any point of time. And besides that, if you go into any of the main roads of the United Kingdom, you will sight the Eddy Slovak vehicle every five and a half minutes. And there is a parcel which is delivered by Eddy Slovak every four minutes in any part of the UK. Besides this, they have also now started operating their own airport in two places of England and they have now gone and invested on aircrafts plus they have also gone and invested on railroads in order to provide exclusive logistics to their clients and besides all these developments it is astonishing and it is really admirable to see that they have started a training institute that they are training new entrants, aspiring entrants who want to get into Edistabad and also they are upgrading the existing staff to know the latest development in the technology. To cite an example, they are top drivers. If you ask our top drivers, they are not aware of what is a GPS system. But if you ask any top driver of Edistabad, he knows how to use a GPS system and how does it help them in finding the way. So this is how you will have to develop and upgrade your employees uh, efficiency in order to achieve that person, that person for your company. Thank you. Thank you. What are the training techniques that you are offered to the universe? You see, you will have to, uh, I, have, I mean, if you ask me personally, everybody should be ready to do all the job. Like, I mean, there shouldn't be, I mean, uh, a department where a department head doesn't turn up and the department becomes dormant. No, you should never have an organization like that. The organization should be just kept, uh, keep running despite the fact whether there's an employee who's going to come or not. So, where, well, you know, I would add this word that an organization is indispensable to an employee. But no employee is indispensable, indispensable to an organization. Uh, what are the future plans of expansion in your sector? Maybe teaching your master and work experience. Okay, the future expansion is going to be a lot of development on the coastal shipping because now we have reached a freezing level as far as the road and the rail transport system in India is concerned and our costs are nearly about four times to the more than China. So now we have reached the saturation level and we have reached the level where we have got a lot of obstacles as with regard to the usage of land for transferring the cargo from North India to the southern part of India or to the western India to the eastern India. 
So now the development what the uh, government is looking at is to develop the coastal ship. That is to run the ship all along the coast area, which can take a lot of the load from the radar, radar road system. And uh, there is a lot of international companies like for instance the American President Lloyd, MERS, Apple Lloyd, uh, NYT, all these companies they have started coming into India on their own. Whereas previously they used to work to an agent. Now this is a very good state, uh, opportunity. And now besides that, Chennai is going to be called as the Detroit of Tamil Nadu India because Tamil Nadu is going to be called as the Detroit of India because there are a lot of automobile giants who are coming and putting up their factory in India. So the logistic opportunity for an aspiring youngster is amended and logistic is an industry which is ever green unlike the other industries. During your recruitment process, what are your expectations in terms of quality? The coming up process. Well, personally, if you look at me, I look at the person's efficiency in how he can deliver a product. A person in my job should be street smart. He's street smartness is the person who can go get the job done and return back to the office with. A result, not a person who returns back with an uh, empty hand because it should be time is of essence. So, if a person goes, returns back empty handed, that means I wasted that day which is going to put my ship on demolition or make me pay storage charges. So, I always look for street smart persons who will come back to the results and who have a positive approach towards every day's life. How would you train your people? I would emphasize that all my people are trained in all the departments in my company because they go on a cycle. Like for instance, a person who is a documentation, after one year will be put on the operation. A person who has spent one year in operation will be put onto the systems, and after one year he will be going to the accounts. So that way. I am able to create good managers and I also teach them the techniques of the business so that I create good entrepreneurs. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you.